Okay, good evening. Hello. 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 Hello, teacher. Okay, en lo que esperamos para que los otros se conecten, démosles un minuto, dos minutos a ellos. Eh, ¿Quién se quiere presentar para conocerlo un poquito mejor? Who wants to go? Hmm? Tell us about you. ¿Cómo se llaman? ¿Qué hacen? ¿Por qué están estudiando? ¿No quieren hablar? Hello, everyone. If you can do it in English, yeah, do it. You guys are advanced, advanced level. Yes. We okay. have to try to do to don't be shy, right? Yes, yes, definitely. Okay. In order to that, so you. okay. Uh, my name is Alexis Omar Alexis, but I like you call me just Alexis. Okay. I work for a private company. That's uh, Laboratorios Lopez. I am a assistant accountant, accounting, mm -hmm. and I have been working for almost six years there. Uh, I almost finished my career at university and I am 26 years old. And as my personality is, I consider myself as an easygoing person. And when I am meeting new people, I try to be sociable as well. And I also like to listen to the problems of my friends. And if I can help them, I do it, of course. Um, I really love it when people is uh, something like me. Um, and I hate when people is unreliable and, and is selfish. And when I see something like that, I prefer taking my distance because I really hate, I really hate it, hate it uh, as I told you. So that's a little bit about, about myself and, and good evening for everyone. Okay. Thank you, Alexei. Thank you. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's, let's get started. Uh, la próxima eh, pueden, pueden pasar otros, así nos vamos conociendo poco a poco. All right, very good. Uh, did you watch the video about the six personality types? Yes, no? Yes, no, I didn't. Algunos no la han visto todavía, about the six personality types. Eh, la clase de ayer la vimos, vimos el video, ¿se acuerdan? Yes, we did. Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, uh, los que estuvieron aquí, los que ya vieron el video en la sección 2, que es el, el primer video en la sección 2, eh, ¿se acuerdan los personality types? Number one, artistic, artistic, creative. Do you remember? Yes. What do you remember about that, that personality, artistic? They have imagination, they are, they are creative. Mm, casi no te escuchamos, Eric. Está eh, como bien, bien bajito, como si está bien lejos. ¿Alguien más? Artistic personality. What do you remember? Uh, a creative person that mm -hmm. makes projects. Yes, very good. Uh, what what do you think is a good career for this person? Mm, engineers, maybe. Okay, good, good. Number graphic two. Graphic designing. Graphic design, good. Number two was conventional. This was a person that is good with numbers. Conventional type. Number three, enterprising type enterprising type. Number four, investigator. This person is good with science and, and logical research. Number five, realistic. No, number five, yeah, number five, realistic. 
This person is good with their hands, with their tools. And number six, social type. Someone that likes to be, for example, a coach, a teacher. Okay, very good. So uh, what we're going to do is I have questions that we're going to discuss and you're going to speak in groups. I'm going to send you a picture in WhatsApp, okay? So vamos a ir a los grupos ahorita. Let's go to groups and I'm going to send you the questions in WhatsApp. Okay, Wilbert, uh, Sarai, let's go to the groups. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi. Okay, yeah. look, look at what's up. Did you see the picture? Yes. With yes. the questions? Yes. Yes. All right, very good. So I want you to take some time to discuss these questions. Uh, one person can ask and everybody can give their opinion, what they remember, okay? Okay. Okay. What is question number one? Question number one is, what is good career for someone that is very crea creative? Mm -hmm. A singer. <laughs> okay, maybe. A, a singer, musician. Uh, an actor, actress. An actor. Okay, very good. Actors, a painter, painter, a painter, okay, uh, marketing, yes, yes, very good. Someone with marketing, okay, continue. Like marketing or things yeah. like that, yeah, marketing, yeah, oh, um, writers also write, yes. Writers, yeah. Authors. What is a good career for someone that is good with numbers? Banking. Engineering. What? Sorry, Andy. B banking. I am. Yeah. Yeah. I am a banker. Uh, are you a banker? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, and I really like numbers. Mm. I like to, but I like to to work with people. Probably, I, I I am sometimes I say that I am not so sociable, but I like to work with people. <laughs> I like to help them, and yeah. I like numbers too. I like what them. about you, Gladys? Yeah, I wish I could understand um, a scientist. Then it says, what is a good career for someone with, I'm sorry, uh, what are your type of, what are your personality types? I think that my personality type is inter pricing type and social type because I like to be a leader and also I like to teach others and help others. Mm, okay. In my case, I think uh, I am conventional type and investigative type. And I am realistic type. Yeah, yeah. This guy loves to do things with the hands. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, number uh, four. If someone is likes to teach others, what personality types is he or she? The easy one. If someone like it's likes. Ah, okay. The, the the last one, social type. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. One. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Um... Okay, next one. What is a good career for someone with a love towards science? Investigator type. Uh... Personality types. Are you personality types? Mm, artistic for me, not conventional. I think. Enterprising, not investigator, not realistic. Not. So, <laughs> type maybe. You have to pick one, or at least conventional, one. Co conventional type. And a little social. social a little. Okay. Uh -huh. I think that I have more than one. I have a combination of artistic, um, probably social, and realistic type. Okay. Yes, uh, you. You seems like that. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Rosibel? Uh, social type. Only social, social type. type. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, the teacher is going to ask for try. To what? Sorry. Teacher is going to ask for the the uh, answers we already have. Ah, okay. Or not, or not? Maybe. I don't. I don't know. Okay. okay. It said that the season, the little group is going to end in. Yes, almost. Some seconds. Fifty so. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice to hear you too. And. I am a little bit shy, I think, or I didn't have the ideas. Ah, don't worry, yeah. don't worry. I am shy too. <laughs> nice to hear you. And nice to hear you too. Okay, we're back. Very good. Did you have time to, to practice a little bit? Yes, we did. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, what, what is a good career for someone that is good with numbers? Um, a salesman. A salesman. A salesman? Okay. Uh, an engineer, too. An engineer? An accountant. Man. Accountant. Very good. A math no? teacher. A math teacher. Yes. Very yes. good. Uh, another question there was if someone is good with their hands, what personality type is he or she? Artistic type. Mm, artistic. Mm, Real realistic type. type. Realistic was the one that we saw realistic in the video, type. right? They like uh, to work uh, with tools. Yes. Yeah. Example? Uh, a a constructor. Constructor, yes. Mechanic. Jewelry. Mechanic, a jeweler. Engineer. 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 Engineer, okay. Very good. So these are people that like to work with their hands. A surgeon. A what? I'm sorry? A surgeon. A surgeon. A, surgeon. a doctor. Surgeon. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Surgeon, surgeon. Okay, very good. Um, if someone likes to teach others, what personality type is he or she? Social type. Social type. Enterprising type. Social type. Mm -hmm. Social type. Very good. Uh, what else? Uh, what is a good career for someone with with love towards science? Investigator, investigator type, type. Bi investigator biology type. a good career uh -huh. it can be biology doctor physics uh, mm -hmm. maybe very see. good and and then we asked about what personality types are you now did did uh did you get a chance to put the video i'm sorry the audio in the platform did some people do it i have problems I no yet. 
I didn't. Okay, les pedí que si pudieran que pusieran el link. Ah, bastante personal lo hicieron. Okay, good. So, look, eh, no se sientan shy, okay? Eh, el propósito es aquí aprender, right? So, I'm just going to listen to the first person, all right? You guys listen to, okay? Y después vamos a hacer lo que se llama peer-to-peer -peer grading. Peer-to-peer -peer grading is simply learning from each other, okay? La cosa no es criticar, sino que aprender del uno al otro. That's going to help us. All right, so 21 seconds. Let's listen to uh, Alejandra. Hi, my name is Alejandra, and I will tell you about myself. I'm a very easygoing person. Besides that, I'm an artistic person too. So I love creating things, mostly, if I can help people with that. Okay, very good. Excellent, Alejandra. Good job. Now, te vamos a calificar, Alejandra, pero no es para criticarte, no. I think it was really good. Es para que nosotros aprendamos del uno al otro. Okay, vocabulary. From one to ten. ¿Le van a dar un diez? Yeah? yeah. All right. Vocabulary. All right. Good. Okay. ¿Usó el vocabulario que aprendió en el video? See? Yes. Yeah, she did. Yes. Okay. Grammar. Yeah. Notaron algún error? I don't know if I if I listened bad, but it sounds like it when she had to say me. I think, but I don't. I don't. Okay. Appreciate. Ya lo vamos a escuchar otra vez. O otro, o otra persona, <laughs> otra víctima. Thought organization. Thought organization. Organize? Yeah, because she used, yes. she used the, the, the linking words. Okay, very good. She used the linking words. So, tenía fluidez. Yes, fluency. Okay, very good. And what about the music? Does she have uh, pronunciation? Yeah? Good. Okay, we're going to listen to it again. Intonation. Okay. Eh, ¿Escucharon? Tal vez al inicio estaba como un poquito muy bajo la entonación al principio, ¿ok? Puede ser timidez o es primera vez que lo hace, ¿ok? No problem. What about rhythm? Tone of voice. ¿Ok? Let's listen one more time. Ready? Fíjense en esas cosas. Hi, my name is Alejandra and I will tell you about myself. I'm a very easygoing person. Besides that, I'm an artistic person too. So, I love creating things, mostly, if I can help people with that. Okay, very good. Let's go back. What do you think? Fluency? Alejandra, estás aquí? ¿Sí? Alejandra, hello. Lo bueno que no está. Este, lo bueno que no está, no. Lo bueno, lo bueno es, yo quiero que, si ella estuviera aquí, yo quisiera que ella pudiera ver dónde está para calificarse ella misma. Ah, ¿sabe qué? Necesito mejorar esto. ¿O sabe qué? O necesito mejorar esto. De hecho, para eso estamos aquí, para aprender y mejorar. Okay, vocabulary. I think it was very good. I give her a 10. It was good vocabulary. She used easygoing, creative, a, a lot of vocabulary from the video. So I think it was very good. Uh, grammar. She says, I love create things. ¿Qué le falta ahí? I love to, to create, create things. Okay, very good. But everything else is really good. Very good grammar. Thought organization. Very good because she used the linking words and she was organized. Very good. Uh, so, are you fluency? Yo le doy un diez. Uh, pronunciation. Uh, pronunciation. Uh, yeah, I think it was really good. Intonation. Maybe she needs to speak up a little bit. The tone of voice. Maybe it's a little low. Al principio, very shy. Okay? All right, so es algo que podría ella trabajar en esa área. Okay? Very good. 
Let's go to another person. Vaya, quiero ver. Alguien me mandó aquí un link. No sé quién es. Ready? Okay, this one's a little longer, okay? It's almost two minutes, okay? I want you to focus on that. ¿Qué estamos viendo? Fluency, grammar, vocabulary, thought organization, and then pronunciation, intonation, and rhythm. Okay? Let's check it out. Hello, my name is Omar Alexis, and today I'm going to try to explain something about my personality. Well, as my personality is, I consider myself as an easygoing person, and a sociable, especially when meeting new people. But once I met someone, I am not too chatty for the reason of I prefer listening to people about their problems. And if I can help them, I do it because I am generous as well. Secondly, I like who are social as me. And uh, additionally to that, I almost never hang out with my friends, but when we do it, we really like have fun. In spite of that, I am a hardworking person, I guess so. And I never will change having fun instead of working, right? Consequently, sometimes I have to work extra time specify at the end of the month and that's really hard you know but it doesn't matter because work is work finally i always try to be honest kind and in addition to that i also like it when people are like that so i hate it when a person is unreliable and has a bad temper and is also selfish i really hate that and I already have had bad experiences about that, especially at work. And I, I try to be careful about that because when I am trying to meet new people, when I see something, something about that, I prefer, I prefer taking my distance because I really hate that, as I told you before. Okay, very good. Thank you, Alexei. Very good. Excellent. What do you think about vocabulary? Alexei, estás aquí, ¿verdad? Alexei, aquí está, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. okay. Eh, Calificate tú mismo. What do you think? Vocabulary. <laughs> I don't know. I prefer you do it. <laughs> okay. I heard a lot of good vocabulary. Easygoing, sociable, generous, chatty. That's good vocabulary. Y bastante del video. So very good. Excellent. Good yes, job. Yes. Thank you. Grammar. Thank what do you, you think, Alexi? Grammar. Um, between one to ten, I think is seven, maybe. Okay, okay, very good. Now, what you need to work on is a uh, gerunds and infinitives. Que es la lección de ahora. Gerunds and okay. infinitives, for example, I prefer listening. No, I prefer listening. Uh, we yes. really like have fun. No, we really like to really have, like fun. have fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, entonces los gerunds and infinitives, eh, ya te lo voy a explicar ahora. Okay, no me voy a adelantar, pero that's, that's something that you need to practice with grammar, okay? But everything else is good. The, the use of the verb to be, the use of pronouns, the use of adjectives, good. Good grammar, okay? Thought organization. I a little nervous. <laughs> okay, thought organization. What do you think about your thought organization? Did, I, I heard um, linking words. I heard a lot of linking words. Finally. Additionally, I heard, first of all, I heard yes. a lot of linking words. Uh, I think it's seven, two. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Uh, sometimes in, in thought organization, uh, you have to no hablar mucho y no hablar muy poquito. You know, you have to be balanced. Uh, for example, yo escuché que tú dijiste finally. And, and I thought, ah, ya va a terminar, finally. But you kept going one minute. <laughs> so, 
So maybe you need to organize your linking words. All right. <laughs> okay. Pronunciation. Very good. Okay. There's some words that you can work on. Okay. Intonation. Yes. Very good. Um, tone of voice. Very good. Uh, the rhythm. Towards the end. Si tú te escuchas otra vez, towards the end, es como si tú pierdes fuerza. And then you're like, you're not speaking. You know, you're like, eh, eh, pero esto, uh, like that, you know? So, yes. listen to yourself at the end, okay? Yo no te voy a calificar, no te he puesto ni un 10, ni un 0. Yo no te he puesto nada. Tú mismo te, te vas a calificar. All right, very good. ¿Alguien quiere, alguien quiere pasar? Para que escuchemos el de ellos. Yes? Come on. Yo sé que están acostumbrados simplemente a trabajar la plataforma. Está bien, la plataforma es excelente. Pero quiero también que ustedes identifiquen estas áreas y puedan mejorar todavía más. My uh -huh. what, what is your name? Eric? Yeah. Okay, Eric, I'm going to look for yours. Hold on. I'm on the head. Hold on, Eric. Is this one? Okay. Uh, aquí está. Eric, you ready? Okay. Vamos a hacer Eric. Tú vas a hacer el último, and then we're gonna go to the the grammar for today: gerunds and infinitives. All right. Let's go. Let's listen to Eric. Um, les dejo aquí el cuadrito para que ustedes pueden calificar. Hi, my name is Eric, and uh, I'm going to describe a little bit about my personality. Um, I would say, based on the video, that I, I have a little bit about artistic because I can focus on one project and also something about conventional type because I like to work for others. And finally, invest, investigative type of people because I like to be precise uh, about, about something that I'm doing. Uh, that's it. Okay, very good. Thank you, Eric. I, I, vocabulary, what do you think, Eric? Like seven. Uh, porque you, you use I give you more you use artistic conventional investigator you use very good vocabulary yeah. I think it's good okay what about grammar like maybe it's eight okay grammar was good I didn't hear any grammar errors I, big grammar errors no no a thought organization what do you think about that was that difficult for you? I had to, you know, like have, have something in advance <laughs> to, okay. you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, Take, like notes. Like keywords. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, very good. Seguiste la linking words? Yes. I heard you say, finally. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No sé si no sé si usaste antes first also besides did you use that? I don't remember. <laughs> we have you have to listen to yourself again, but listen to yeah. yourself again and see if you use linking words. Uh, okay. pronunciation, very good. Intonation. Good job, Eric. A tone of voice. Yes. Okay, so yes, this will be a question that you will have in a job interview. Okay. Oh. The, okay. Nunca has tomado una una entrevista en inglés. Nunca has pasado una entrevista en inglés. No. Yes. Ah, okay. So has pasado. So, did they ask you the question? Tell me about yourself. Did they ask you? Yeah, the, the first That's one. The first question. Yeah. Ah, ok. Now, ya entendés lo que ellos están buscando. ¿Cómo están pensando ellos? ¿Cómo te están calificando? Yeah, now, now I understand. Ah, 
Ahora sí. Very good. Now you understand. They're looking for fluency and they're looking for the other part now. Um, you know, that's basically what they're looking for. Y por eso te, te hacen preguntas así, like, in the past, what did you do yesterday? You know, that, that type of things. Okay, very good. All right, so if you ever, if you want to listen to yourself, escuchen su audio otra vez. Vean este, este cuadrito aquí de fluency, de music and pronunciation. And then see, I want you to see and identify what areas you can work on. All right, very good. Ok, ¿listo para el tema? Yeah. Ready. Ok, very good, ready. Ok, um, I'm going to skip the video, but you can see the video in your, in, in your own time. De, de, de hecho, tienen que ver el video para pasarlo. Si no, no pasan la, esa sección de la plataforma. So, tienen que ver el video. Va. Esta es la foto que está en el video. Ok, so let me explain. We're going to look at two things. We're going to look at gerunds as objects and gerunds as subjects. Okay? Gerunds as objects and gerunds as subjects. Okay? Now, first of all, ¿qué quiero decir con gerunds? What is a gerund? Let me see. A gerund, okay, is a, perdón. A gerund is a word that ends with ing. Okay? Now, ¿se acuerdan el progressive cuando ustedes aprendieron palabras que verbos con ing? Okay? Por ejemplo, sitting, walking, talking, okay? Very good. Now, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Es prácticamente lo que es, okay? Pero no funciona como un verbo, sino que funciona como el objeto de una oración. O el, en este caso también el sujeto. What do I mean? Okay. For example, um, let's look at gerunds as objects. No, voy, voy primero con subjects y después regresamos a sub, uh, objects. Okay. So let's look at gerunds as subjects. A gerund is a word with ing. Si ustedes notan aquí, aquí terminan con ing las palabras. For example, voting, voting, choosing, choosing. So, tiene, es, es un verbo y termina con ing. Okay? Pero no está funcionando como un verbo aquí en esta oración. No estoy diciendo... Por ejemplo, he is voting. No estoy diciendo eso. Okay? Sino que estoy hablando de voting. Y lo voy a tomar como el sujeto de la oración. Ok, let me, let me read the instructions. A gerund can be the subject of a sentence. It is always singular. And use the third person when you're... Uh, Describing a gerund, okay. For example, in this sentence, I have the word ing. Now, the gerunds, when they use, when they are used as subject of the sentences, they always come at the beginning, okay. So, eso es clave, que siempre viene al inicio de la, de la oración. For example, here, I want to say, Voting is an important responsibility. Okay. El sujeto de mi oración es voting. Okay. No estoy diciendo he is voting. Eso sería un verbo progresivo. I'm saying that voting is an important responsibility. So, what is my gerund? My gerund is voting. And, lo estoy usando al inicio de la oración, entonces es un subject. Okay. Another example. Choosing a candidate takes time. Okay. Choosing es elegir 
seleccionar o elegir. Choosing a candidate takes time. Here, I'm using choosing as the gerund of a sentence. Okay? Una vez más, como viene al inicio de la oración, entonces es un subject. Gerund as a subject. Okay? Now, no se confundan con el progresivo. El progresivo sería, I am choosing a candidate. Esta oración es progresiva, present continuous. Esto ustedes ya lo aprendieron en, en, la, en el primer módulo. Primer nivel, perdón. So, no se confundan, no es eso. Sino que estoy usando el verb ing, pero no lo estoy usando como verbo, sino como subject. Ok, questions, preguntas. Hasta aquí. No. Good. Ok. No. Now, let's go to the next one. Now, let's go to. Objects. Uh -huh. Now, let's go to objects. A gerund can be the object of certain verbs. For example, here I say, I suggest improving our schools. Okay? Here you have the word improving. Okay? Pero no lo estoy usando como un verbo progresivo. I'm, I'm using it as the object of the sentence. Okay? In this sentence here, this example, ¿cuál es el sujeto? I. ¿Cuál es el objeto? Improving. Okay. Number two. I enjoy working for the people. Right? Un político. Eso es lo que dijeron político, right? A politician. He will say, I enjoy working for the people. So, working is... ING, pero no lo estoy usando como un verbo progresivo, sino que lo estoy usando como un object gerund. Okay? What is the subject? I. What is the object? Working. Okay? Very good. So that is the difference between a gerund subject and a gerund object. Do you understand the difference? ¿Entendemos la diferencia? Sí? I think. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Ya vamos a hacer una práctica. So, you th the difference is that. Okay? Now, una forma de record recordarme así fácil es que remember that the gerund subjects siempre vienen al inicio right. y vienen con ing. Subjects. Okay? Very good. El gerund object, ya existe un sujeto. What is the subject here? I. What is the subject here? I. Entonces, lo único que queda es object. Okay? Let's do a practice. Let me see. Okay. This is an example of practice. Okay? Here, in this sentence, we have to see cómo se está usando el gerund. ¿Qué sería la palabra que tiene ing al final? In this sentence here, ¿cómo lo estoy usando? Dancing is great fun. A subject. 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 Very good. Jaren as a subject. Number two, she hates going out last night. As an object. object. Jaren object. as an object. Okay. Now, hay otro ahí que es complement. No me voy a meter ahí todavía. <laughs> Solo quiero okay. practicar subject and object. Cooking is my hobby. Subject. 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 Very good. Subject. Smoking is bad for your health. Subject. Subject. Jaren ¿Por, subject. ¿Por qué? Porque viene al principio, right? It's at the beginning with an ING. Uh, skip number five. Geo coaching can be dangerous. Jaren as 
subject. Subject. The gerund as a subject. Uh huh. Number five. Very good. Number five. The five. They, sk skip number five. Don't worry because I have to explain okay. the complement. It's a home complement, but I'm not going to explain that right now. Okay. okay. Number seven. Doing homework is boring. Doing is the subject of the sentence. Subject. Okay. Very good. So ya más o menos entienden, right? How to use that. Okay. Very good. Very good. So let me see. I have here. Ah, okay. Very good. Now, esta es la práctica que vamos a hacer ahora. This here. But I want to explain to you infinitives. So ya aprendimos gerunds. Gerunds subject. Gerunds object. I want to show you infinitives. Okay, so let me see. I have another picture here that we're going to use. It's the otro gerund practice that we're going to do. Infinitives, okay? Infinitives, look, in English, algo, algo que no puede existir en el inglés, en la gramática, es tener dos verbos juntos. For example, um, I told, uh, no, eh, alguien, alguien dijo esto en uno de los audios. I prefer listen. Okay. Here, I prefer listen. We have a problem because prefer is a verb listen. and listen is a verb. Y no pueden estar juntos en su forma natural. Los dos verbos no pueden estar juntos. So, what do we have to do? We have to put an infinitive. And what is an infinitive? Two. 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 Cabal. We have to put two and then verb. Correct. So, I prefer two. to listen. listen. Okay. Yo me recuerdo siempre esta clave, esta, este, este código. V to V, es decir, verb to verb. Si yo tengo dos verbos juntos, tengo que ponerle un to. Solo que lo voy a escribir, pero no en, la, en el número, en la forma numérica, sino que T-O. T-O. V to V. Ok. For example, I want eat. What is the problem here? What do I need? There is not two between the verbs. I want to eat. I want to, I want to eat. Very good. Uh, for example, uh, I promise. Go. I promise call you. To call you. I promise, I promise to call you. Okay. Por qué? Porque si no tengo dos verbos, to I promise. Perdón. And then call. Tengo dos verbos juntos. Y no puedo tener dos verbos así, side by side, sin, poner, sin modificar uno de ellos a un infinitive. Okay? So, for example, here, okay, Look at this, examples. I want you, uh, what do you want to do? Aquí tengo want and do, los cuales son verbos, but I need to put two. I hope to go to the university next year. We have decided to leave tomorrow. My brother is learning to drive. Okay. To town. I want, I want to Tom, I want, no, aquí, I went. Uh, este está mal. You can say, I went to Tom, but failed to attract his attention. I have failed, which is a verb in the past, and then I have attract, which is a verb, and I need to put an infinitive. He agreed to lend me some money, to lend, okay? 
Questions? No? Yep. All right. Help me with this practice. Help me with this practice. Okay, give me a that. Number one, here you're going to either has to be an infinitive or a gerund. O vamos a usar ing o vamos a usar to in the verb. Okay? I don't fancy I'm going. I don't fancy going, going out tonight. Going. Okay. I'm going to. But going to. You can also say, I don't fancy going to out tonight. No. Mm -mm. Tiene que ser uno el otro. No. I don't fancy going out tonight. Okay. What is fancy? Es como, no tengo la ganas. No, no, I don't feel like it. Okay. Number two. She avoided to tell him about her plans or she avoided telling him about her plans. She avoided telling him. Yes, very good. I would like blank to come to the party with you or I would like coming to the party with you. To come. To come. I would like to come to the party with you. Okay. Very good. Okay. Number four. He enjoys to have a bath in the to evening come. or he enjoys having a bath in the evening. To have. To have. Having. To have. Having. Okay. Number five. She kept to talk during the film or she kept talking during the film? Talking. She kept talking, talking. during the film. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number six. I am learning speaking English or I am learning to speak English? To speak, to speak English. To speak. Yes, to speak. Very good. Excellent. Do you mind to give me a hand, or do you mind giving me a hand? To give? You mind to give me giving a hand. Me. No, giving me a hand. Do you mind giving me a hand? A hand is like a uh, help, right? Do you mind giving me a hand? Very good. She helped me to carry my suitcase, or she helped me carrying my suitcase? Carrying. She helped me to carry my suitcase. Okay. Number nine. I have finished cook. I have finished to cook or I have finished cooking. I have finished cook to cook. I have finished cooking. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have finished cooking. Come and eat. Okay. Very good. Now, le voy a dejar este ejercicio for practice. For practice that you can do. Okay. Also, you can watch the video in the platform. Okay. Eh, no lo pongo porque es un poquito largo. Son como siete minutos. Pero ustedes lo pueden ver. Ok. Now, el video solo se enfoca en los gerunds. Yo me enfoqué en los gerunds y los infinitives. Porque yo pienso que van juntos. Ok. Eh, questions? So. Yeah, I uh, have a question. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, how can we make a difference between the gerund form and when the gerund is a subject? Ok. How to identify? Eh, let me see. Me, me dan un segundito para abrir un, 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 un programa. Okay. Deme, deme sure. un segundito, solo porque no lo tengo aquí, no es parte de. Hold on.
Okay. Eh, buena pregunta. Look, eh, ¿Cómo te puedo explicar? No hay una regla clara, sino que es parte de tu, de, de tu conocimiento de vocabulario. Y ese conocimiento no lo vas a aprender en ninguna academia. Es decir, eh, sí te podemos introducir y dar ciertas herramientas, pero al final es simplemente qué tanto tú puedas expandir tu vocabulario en inglés. Porque lo que es gerunds and infinitives, eh, ya vas a ver aquí en este cuadro, te voy a enseñar algo. Es más bien como... A ver si está aquí. Ok, aquí está. This one. Eh, lo voy a hacer lo más grande posible. Yo sé que es, estamos viendo... Estamos usando Zoom y estamos viendo un programa a través de otro. So, yo sé que lo voy a ampliar un poquito, permítame. Ok, no sé si pueden ver esto. Yo sé que es bastante contenido y quiero, quiero ver si lo puedo hacer más grande. Ok, now, esta es una lista de vocabulario. Eh, por ejemplo, tenemos verbs that are followed by gerunds. Si tú, si tú vas a usar cualquiera de estos, tu, tu siguiente palabra va a ser ing. Por ejemplo, I admit, I admit cooking for dinner. Okay? I appreciate cooking dinner. For example, uh, please avoid talking during the movie. Okay. I don't mind washing my car. Okay. Cualquiera que use de esta lista, el, la siguiente palabra va a ser un gerund. Okay. Now, hay algunas que son intercambiables. Tú puedes usar con estas expresiones, no son, no, ya no es gramática, sino simplemente son como expresiones del, del idioma. Eh, aquí tú puedes usar un gerund o un infinitive. Por ejemplo, um, I am excited about going back to work. ¿Qué usé allí? Un gerund. Okay. Uh, or you can say, Uh, let me see. Uh, I am capable of speaking two languages. I look forward to talking to you. Okay. Now, hay otra lista. Verbs that are followed by a direct, directly by an infinitive. These verbs, estos, es la, donde nos quedamos nosotros. For example, I agree to talk to that person. Okay. Uh, I can't wait to get out of my house. I hope to see you tomorrow. I need to listen to more English. I need to practice more English. Okay. Si, si tú ves, aquí es donde nos quedamos nosotros. ¿Ok? Y después hay verbos que siguen un object before an infinitive. Ya, yeah, esto es diferente. Esta es otra lección. ¿Ok? So, ¿cómo vas a saber? Es simplemente la práctica y el uso de tu vocabulario. ¿Cómo va creciendo tu vocabulario? Te puedo dar esta lista. Si, te, si quieres, te la mando. Y te la puedo poner ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, simplemente para que tú lo tengas como una referencia. Pero ¿dónde viene simplemente escuchando y practicando y poniendo en práctica en inglés? Then you start, you're going to start to, to listen to gerunds and infinitives. ¿Ok? Gerunds and infinitives es una de las partes más avanzadas del idioma, cuando tú lo estás aprendiendo así como segundo idioma. 
Okay. Questions? Preguntas? No question. No? Okay. So, ¿cuál era? Yo sé que no fuimos bastante, eh, pero el tema de ustedes era gerunds. And it was gerunds. Eran esto, esto, esto es lo que estaba en el video. Okay. So, pueden ver el video, aprender el uso bien de gerunds como objects in gerunds como subjects. Y algo extra le di porque surge esa, esa pregunta que por veces se pueden usar también infinitives. Okay. Uh, les voy a mandar el link para que ustedes puedan hacer el ejercicio que estábamos haciendo en línea y les voy a mandar a otro. Ya que ahora pueden usar los gerunds y los infinitives, les voy a mandar más ejercicios sobre eso. Ok. Questions? Ok. Uh, teacher, can you send, can you also send the last part that you were explaining? Yes, I can send it to you. Yes, no problem. Okay, thank you. Okay. Questions? No. Ok, yo, yo sé que esta, este día iba a ser bastante gramática, por eso quise hacer las actividades de, de speaking, que estábamos escuchando a los compañeros en doing that, ok? So, it's good. It's good to have. You need the grammar, you need the vocabulary, so that you can have fluency. All right. Questions? No? No. Ok. Very good, yes. very good. Ok. Eh, el cuadro que yo les enseñé es un nivel avanzado ya de los últimos niveles en, en inglés. Ya es un nivel avanzado full. Um, so, no, lo van a ir aprendiendo poco a poco. Ok. Ok. All right. Very good. Ok. I'll see you Monday, next week. Ok. Okay. 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 Bye. 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 Okay. Good night. Have a good night. Bye bye.